habits and discipline. Let's get right to it. These are the two things that will define who you are, are going to shape the trajectory of your life, put you in alignment with your purpose or put you in alignment with your destruction. And I'm a firm, firm believer in it. Guys, if you don't know already, I'm, I'm an extremist. If you didn't know, I'm an extremist. I have to push the limit. I got to push the bar in everything that I do. Some people connect with it and I love you guys who connect with it. Some people do not connect with it and that's fine too. What has worked for me and what has worked for other people that I respect their trajectory and their grind, you had to be extreme with it. There was no gray area. It wasn't one foot in, one foot out because when I did play that role and we're going to get to the point with all of this with why these habits and disciplines have to be so extreme. When I was one foot in, one foot out, teetering, maybe maybe it could work, maybe it could not, nothing came from that except wasted time because I was never working with conviction. I was never working with true purpose. My habits were not truly, truly defined because I would start the habit it would get a little tough, I would back off. I didn't have the discipline. I didn't have the discipline to see it through. I didn't have the discipline to create the habit and stick with the habit and stick with the necessary steps to go, to go, to go, to go, to go. And I failed miserably plenty of times. That's why I tell you guys, you may have to fail a few times before you get it and fail fast so you can get the lesson to keep going. You're going to have to go through some stuff. So when I say, yeah, I'm an extremist because when I made the decision No, I'm going to create these habits that is going to be aligned with who I am trying to become in my purpose. And I say purpose because that voice tells you what you need to do. You hear it. You know it. And you try to drown it out. You try to shy away from it. You don't believe it. Purpose driven. I realize, hey, it's not what I want to do. That's what I had to correct myself. It's not always about what what do I want to do? What is my purpose? And find the deeper rooted meaning. And once I created those habits that put me aligned, that aligned me with the purpose, and then I had to have this relentless discipline. And I want to speak more a little bit about the discipline right now than the habits, because you have the discipline that is going to be your superpower. That's why when I talk about going to the gym, going to jujitsu, if you notice, I'm not talking about, hey, let's get swole, get jacked. I'm going to tell you, what do I call it? It's a tool because you are training yourself. You're training your mind to do something that a lot of times you're not going to want to do. It is long view. It is not instant gratification, but you are creating these positive habits to get up and put in the work. You're creating discipline that no matter what is going on, I'm going to stick with this plan. I'm going to stick with these steps. I'm going to stick with this habit. I'm going to form this habit until now. It's just, it's muscle memory. I'm getting up and doing it. The discipline guys, you want a superpower that's develop your discipline. One thing I tell everybody, I'll out discipline everybody. I'll out discipline everyone. And I want you guys to think of that, too. And I want you guys to adopt that. You will out discipline everybody, meaning when they want to take a break, when they want to go party because they felt, oh, we got to this point when they feel they've arrived, when they feel, oh, they can put the foot up, pull the foot off the gas a little bit. OK, I'll see you guys later. I'm in the lab. I'm cooking. I'm doing what I need to do in whatever capacity it is. In whatever area that you know that you need to be working on, you need to be putting in the work. And I'm screaming it from experience. My only thing that I had was my discipline. That's why the self-reliance, when I spoke about that in the other video, it had to, you have to have it. It has to be crazy. Because I had to say to myself, you're gonna have to out-discipline everybody. When everybody's ahead. And you're seeing them having fun and this and that. Okay. You can't let it get, you can't let it affect you to the point to where it's veering off of your path. You're going to have to go monk mode. You're going to have to go to that mountaintop and sit and meditate and get in tune. 
and still grind, still work, still get at it because your journey still has to go on. You can't afford. I couldn't afford to go under the covers and just throw my hands up and say, I give up. I couldn't afford it because we still got, we still got to go. We still have to push. We still, there's still more to be done. So I had to even formulate that habit and formulate that discipline to say, all right, man, I just want to just, I want to give up. <laughs> but you know what? No, 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 no. When I feel, when I hear that, that thought, I got to create an action to counteract it and stick with it and stick with it and stick with it. This young kid at the gym I was talking to a couple days ago, I don't, whatever, just over the weekend, young kid, he was 17. You know, it initially started off, he wanted to know how long did it take me to get, you know, how long would it take him to look like me? And I asked how old he was. He told me he's 17. I'm like, well, bro, I'm in my 40s. So, and I said that because I didn't want to give him like, yeah, it's going to take six months. Six, no, no, no. Let's put it in perspective here. I started around your age and I'm still going. I started around his age, like 18, 19 is when I started and just kept at it, kept at it. And then at that point, the conversation went a completely different direction because this is where it comes back to the discipline guys and those habits, because we just started talking. All right. I could see no one talks to him as a man because he just started to just ask these questions like, you know, hey, what should I be doing career wise? I don't know what I should do. I don't know what I what I want to do. I asked him, well, what are you into? He had to think about it. And all the while, you know, he's at 17. His friends are scamming and making you know a bunch of money. And he's at that crossroad where he's like, I can see it. He's his friends are making all this bread and he's not making any money. And he's at that crossroad and he, I'm like, okay, very easily he can hop over to that dark side, you know, and start getting money with them. And I have to start to put, I have to put things in perspective for him. Like you go down this path, you're going to create these habits that's going to keep you in this path because that fast money is going to come and you're going to now just want to keep going at it. Like, and I told him, listen, if you can just stay focused and figure out a path legitimately. You know, I'm not telling any, I'm not a saint and I'm not telling anybody, you know, I'm not gonna be a preacher and this and that, you know, cause when I was his, his age, I was going crazy. So I understood where he was coming from. That's why I was able just to speak to him like, look, I'm not gonna speak to you like I'm your father or a parent. I'm just gonna give it to you real because I understand where you were at, I get it. And I wish somebody may have spoken to me during those teen years, those early 20s, just so I can get some perspective a little bit, because I just was just out there failing, making mistakes. And then I just was like, OK, I'm glad I had a little bit of self actual self-realization to say, OK, this this is a cycle here and I can't keep going. But with him, I was just like, I get it. He's a teenager. You know, his friends are getting money. He's not. He's at the crossroad. And I'm like, look, you can go there. But just know it only takes one time. And the type of things that they were into, it only takes one time and it's federal charges. And you get tried as an adult. And then what? You know, so but if you can create these habits over here, to find a different purpose, a different path, and stay disciplined to stick with it. Bro, by the 19, 20, 21, you're gonna be, you're gonna be past all of them. And now for me, three years is is that's a short amount of time. But for him, it's like he's looking at that like 20, 21, you know, if he's 17 and I'm telling him like, look, just hold it down until you're 20. The, the number 20 just sounds like so far from him. Right. And I'm like, this is where it comes into play about that discipline, because he's right at the crossroad. He's right at the crossroad to where, 
oh, if you go down this path, you start, that's it. I spent about maybe 45 minutes. <laughs> My, no workout that day. Like I went in there, I already worked out earlier and I was just like, let me just get in there again. And I see why I was supposed to go in there again because it wasn't even for the workout, it was so I could speak to him. It was clear as day the reason I, I went there. It was clear as day the reason I need to go at that time, be on that particular machine at that hour because of him. Because I spent about 45 minutes just talking like, look, look, look into these you know, career opportunities. Okay, if you are just completely against college work, well, look at these opportunities that you've been you don't necessarily need a college degree, but you can get certified in these certain fields of, of IT and cybersecurity, you know, to where, hey, if you can show the skill and back it up with uh, proof and have those receipts that you can get these certifications, okay, well, maybe you don't have to go the college route, you know, or think about, and that's why I was bringing like, hey, what else are you into? You're obviously, you were born into the internet. Like, of course, you're tech savvy already. You're fat, you, are you, like, what are you into? You know, giving them like, hey, if you just start, you're making a little money already, put into some stocks, put into stocks. Just giving him pathways of ideas and thoughts. Because at that moment, I could see his pathways that he feels that he has were limited. And it crushed me to see that. Um, I feel it's only right for me that if I could pass some information along, however old you are, but of course with the younger generation and you know people that are younger than me, you guys are gonna be the ones that's gonna carry this on, you know. So I'm putting a little bit more emphasis in drilling you guys, but this applies to any and everyone because just because you're older doesn't mean that it's over either. Just because you're old doesn't mean you give up. Just because you're old doesn't mean you can't start your program. It doesn't mean you cannot revamp yourself, revamp your life, revamp your career. Because I had to do it. <sighs> if I would have given up those times when I felt it's over, I don't have any, I don't know what else to do. You would have never seen these videos. This, their Doreen Collective wouldn't be a thing. None of this. Some of the life's rewards that I was given came later, and I had to weather the storm and weathering storms. Now I'm constantly weathering storms, but the only difference is my habits are in line with my purpose, and my discipline is bulletproof. I scream it to you guys. Let's develop your discipline. Out-discipline everybody. It's going beyond just outworking them. You will out-discipline them. And you will see, you will be so further ahead than everybody else. Just look around. Discipline tells it all. Discipline tells the story. How disciplined are you in staying the course how disciplined are you in your habits that may not give you instant gratification, but you know you need to do it? I don't want to make this video any longer. I hope this resonates. I hope this resonates with you guys. I appreciate you guys always for taking time out to tap in with these videos. I hope you pull something from it. We got more videos coming. Let's go.